Welcome to Mind Body TV. I'm Dr. Kim Duramo. And today's episode, I'm going to be sharing about how to tap into your inner guidance for answers, clarity, solutions, and instant healing. So welcome. I'm excited you're joining. Share where you're tuning in from if you're joining live or if you're watching the recording. Where are you in the world? I'm so happy to have you as part of this community. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a physician and I've created Mind Body TV to share resources that ignite healing from the inside out, that ignite your body's ability to heal itself, that support the awareness that the mind and body are connected, and that provide resources so that we can create a true healthcare system and live as a society free from disease. So I'm really, really excited about this topic because um, I actually just had a talk with my daughter, who is 11, and she asked me, mom, I really want to learn more about how you do healing. How do you help people? She said, when you help my ankle, because she had like injured her ankle in dance, you treated my ankle and then it was better and the pain went away and it wasn't injured anymore. Like, how do you do that? So we actually had to talk about that. And she went on further to say, well, how do you know like what you're supposed to do? And how do you get the clarity and get the answers about things that are going on? So we kind of are going to go into that as well here. So the first thing I want to share about um, when we are connecting with our guidance to get answers for clarity, for solutions, for healing, we've got to become a better listener. And what I've learned, and I did um, study osteopathic medicine for years and sat beside some incredible people doing amazing healing work, was they were so fully in their body here now. And the more I learned, which is like the number one skill I think I've ever developed, to be here now, listening, sensing, receptive, the more I've been able to tune into wisdom, guidance, solutions that I never would have known otherwise. And so what I shared with Gemma first was, um, you know, and I had her play on her arm like this, like, okay, you're going to feel the tissue and you're going to pay attention to what do you feel? Does it want to move this way? Does it want to move that way? And then you're going to pay attention to like, what's even deeper. If you push in a little more and you twist, you can feel the bones. And I even got her to the point where she could feel the membranes. So she's a great listener. Uh, but the point I'm making is you've got to be here in your body, listening to feel and sense what's going on that you're picking up. Not saying that you're doing physical work, healing someone, but stay with me here. Um, so she was able to get there. And I said, here's how you would interact with the tissues. You just kind of uh, experience like, okay, when I move it that way, does that help loosen things up? When I move it this way, oh yeah, it feels a little tighter. You're paying attention and allowing the receptive feedback to then change the way you're interacting with the body and what you're doing to the body. So super, super simple here. But the point she got right away was um, the body will tell you, the body will show you. And so she started to feel things. And basically for me, it's just letting in awareness through different channels than what ordinary awareness comes from. Like, I can't feel anything. I don't know what you're talking about, but are you actually soft? Are you receptive? Are you listening? Are you receptive to this new kind of information? So we did that. And immediately she said, but sometimes mom, you don't really treat the body. You do other things too. How do you know what to do? And this is why I was excited to share this in Mind Body TV um, because I really taught her how to listen and how to get like, let the wisdom speak to you. So after she became a little more adept with like listening to the body, I said, where are you feeling it, Gemma? And she's like, I feel it in my body. I'm feeling it. So the biggest thing that we need to do if we're like trying to solve a problem, help a person, heal a, a client or a patient, we've actually got to tune in here, not over there. So it's not like your mother, your child, your patient, your whatever, your husband. It's actually what's happening here that I'm picking up on about what's going on over there. Or maybe it's your bank account, or maybe it's an illness, or maybe it's your job, right? Where can I tune into that? Only here. You've got to be more here. So this is why in the Instant Elevation program, it's like the number one thing is get your energy back here now. Collect it from all of these places out there. I'm trying to help people. I've got to make money. Whatever you think you got to take care of, get your energy back here now because this is the only place it can have real power. 
So I guided Gemma through uh, this experience um, and she began to let, I mean, she's 11. So it's a lot. She's more children are just like not as trained to shut down the extra sensory perceptions. So she was letting so much awareness in. She was asking about her friends. She was asking about situations she's dealing with and got a lot of clarity. Okay. So the first thing you've got to do is get your energy here now in the body, feeling and sensing from here. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath. You can only have power from here now. And so the second thing is listening and asking questions. So I explained to Gemma, sometimes I'm aware if I'm working on someone physically, um, you know, oh, they actually, this is not what they need. This is not going to be the highest and best. So I'll actually ask the question, what is, what do they really need? Sometimes it's something hands-on, especially like with my kids or stuff going on here. Uh, but usually what do they really need shows me something. And it might be like, have them use some Arnica or tell them about blah, blah, blah. Like it could be anything. It could be just be still and listen. But if you're not asking the question and you're not present and receptive to like become aware, you're really not going to know. It's like a needle in a haystack. Maybe we could do this. Maybe we could do that. And that's where most people are in the medical field. Like I have this problem and they run to their, whatever the go-to is. And it's a conclusion like, well, this is what I have to do. And are they actually listening? Are you actually listening from here, present here now through your whole being to be receptive? Because that is the number one skill you can practice. And so the Instant Elevation program does a great job at assisting you in mastering that. The Mind Body Toolkit has awesome tools you can use anytime, anywhere to get in your body and begin to activate healing, get solutions. This is a great resource. If you don't already have it, it's at drkimd.com forward slash book. But for today, start relaxing your body and getting more here, breathing here, and then ask the question, what is this really about? So whatever is your greatest challenge, and I want you to share with me in the comments, like what is coming up for you? Is it a person? Is it your job? Is it money? Is it your body? Is it something like etheric, like, oh, I'll never solve this. Oh, it's just, I just have this problem of because I'm this kind of person or because I'm this way. And it's like, what actually is that? When you get present, you go into observer. Now I'm observing the thing. <laughs> I'm no longer in the thing to the same degree. And so I shared with Gemma about listening. And then she very quickly went to like getting answers, getting clarity. And so that after we went through this, she's like, you got to do a video about this, <laughs> which is why we're doing this today. I was super inspired because I thought she's right. A lot of people could really benefit from this. Are you listening with your whole body? Are you listening from presence versus mind? When you go into fight or flight, the brain works differently. Let me just give you an example here. So in fight or flight, your brain cannot process. Here's your brain. Here's your amygdala. Okay. Cannot process information the same way. So it's sending messages to your whole body. And then that information is either you're getting that information back up, insight, awareness, receptivity, right? You're feeling something in your gut. You're maybe feeling it in your bones. Maybe you just have a, a lightness of speeding up, right? I'm here now. What is this really about? You feel into the problem. You feel into the issue or the person you're working with. What do they really need to hear that would open up the most possibility, right? So if it's your kid, if it's your mother, you got to be grounded in the body in order to have this nervous system work for you. Now, when you're in fight or flight, the whole thing gets short-circuited. You're not giving uh, that clear information to your body to let your body be receptive, and you're not receiving oh, <laughs> that uh, information back from the body, right? So for example, let's say your thyroid is low and you're like, all right, what is this really about? And you're in this receptive space and you all of a sudden have a memory of like, boom, oh, I'm doing this thing. It's, you know, it's stressing me out. That's not serving me, right? Because as soon as you start increasing those cortisol levels, you're not going to make your hormones 
the correct balanced way to have your body work in ideal health. So you might have that insight. You might also realize, oh, ding, 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 take some iodine. And you're like, or, or you see it on the shelf and it just jumps out at you. This happens to me all the time. I've had books literally jump off shelf in the bookstore. But are you asking the questions and are you in a connected loop with your body, a receptive loop to let that information come back to you? Most people aren't and they won't relax their body and let the information in because they're already running in the high beta brainwave frequencies of, I can't slow down. I can't stop. I got to figure it out. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. That's programming. That is not wisdom. You will never find the needle in a haystack on that high beta brainwave frequency. All you're going to get is programs, conclusions, assumptions, beliefs, and everything you've like learned along the way. And no matter how smart you are, all the medical textbooks in the world do not light a candle compared to the wisdom that lives in you. And so getting answers. Okay. Bring up the greatest challenge you're having right now. It might be anxiety. It might be pain. It might be an illness. Fatigue. Why am I healing this thing? It might be your, you know, partner, money. It could be anything. Okay. Bring that up now. What is it I would really like to change and get clarity and guidance about? I want you to feel that. Soften your body. And then just ask, you've got to first actually get your breathing all the way down to your pelvis. If you're breathing down to your pelvis, you've turned off that fight or flight nervous system and you've turned on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation response. That's what lets your nervous system function in a higher state. So you're not in the high beta of the buzz of beliefs. You're actually like, ooh maybe like slower beta as a little slower brainwave frequency or even alpha, which is a more meditative brainwave state. So belly breathing, let the system come down. It will work for you. I promise you've got to let go. And now listen from here. So whatever that thing is or that person or that challenge, I want you to feel what you feel in your body. And just ask, what is this really about? What do I really need to see to allow a resolution here? And so just feel that question. You don't necessarily need to say it out loud. You can just feel it, like receive the question. What else is possible? Who could I be that would allow this all to change? All you're going to do is be a great person receiver for the frequency of the question. Because when you ask a question, okay, there is always, it's always answered. <laughs> okay. It's always answered. Whenever you ask a question, it is always answered. So are you asking from a receptive space or are you asking from a contracted space? Like your, oop, your brain is upside down. You're, uh, you're not really uh, like putting that message into the body of like, okay, body, show me what it would take to create prosperity. And you're sending that signal down. And then the body's like, ding, 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 ding. And it will show you, you will have an idea or a thought or something will happen. But if you're blocking these neurologic pathways, you're like suppressing that part of your nervous system. You're going to keep asking, I don't know, I don't know, I'm asking, I'm asking, or like EFT dabbing, I'm doing dabbing, nothing's getting better. Yeah, because you're in that shutdown brain state. <laughs> so the first thing is take that breath, let everything go, even just for a moment, ask the question, what is this really about? Right? Or I told her with my patients or now the clients I work with, um, okay, how does this person need to hear it so that the mountain can move and I will listen from here. I'm not listening over there to her or to him. I'm listening here because my body will show me. Your body is the receptor. It's really your energy field that is the receptor, but you're going to sense your energy field through your body. So I taught Gemma, like you might hear it. You might see it. You might just feel it. You might just know it. 
right? These are known as like clear audience, clear sentience, clear voyance. Uh, what else did I say? You just clear cognizance. You just know it. And it, you don't even have to get caught up in like those things to be a better receiver, be a better sensor and ask the right questions because your wisdom is a hundred percent on board for you. You are in a divine matrix. You are in an energy field that is at your service for creation. So how are you interacting with that? Are you being a great creator? Are you being a conscious creator? Or are you on your autopilot program, totally shutting down your nervous system and it's in fight or flight so you will not access these pathways? And guess what? Either way, you are right. You can be right about, this is crap. What is she talking about? That's not how the world works. <laughs> and you're right. Because when you're in that shut down nervous system pathway, you don't have solutions. You don't have answers. You don't have clarity. You are in lack. Life does suck. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because you're a creator. You're actually creating it. So do you want to engage your system in a deeper level of consciously creating, right? You got to get more here now listening, or are you going to double down on the closure pattern? Tight fight, keep going. Let me just make this work. I'm almost there. Eventually we'll pick the first option <laughs> and you may or may not be ready for that right now. Like I know in some ways in my life, I've been ready in some parts and then other ones I'm like, no, I'm still holding on to this. Just be patient with yourself. We are all growing. We are all accelerated, accelerating into a higher consciousness of how we function as humans, sensing, receptive, at one with the field we're in and operating as divine creators. You can take your time, right? Don't push yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And so listening is really the key. What is it you would like to create? What is it you would like to get solutions um, and answers about? Or what healing would you like to bring about for yourself or for another? Those are really the things to ask. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. How does that land? Does that feel possible? If you're in those higher brain wave, uh, brain states, it, it, it might feel very foreign. And you'll be like, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. So you got to just like, all right, be curious. Soon as you go into curiosity, your body softens. Soon as you let go of trying, your body opens, your nervous system shifts, and the receptivity is there. So start asking better questions, listening from here, listening from it your body, because nothing is actually separate. I've had unbelievable experiences with patients and, you know, where I'd immediately know, like, this is exactly what needs to happen here. And until I could open them to the healing, like, it, it doesn't matter. No one can give you a magic pill. The healing comes from you. So the first thing I do in any of, like, our group calls or work we do together is, like, get you into that receptive state. In the Embracing Health program, which we're actually starting in June, um, that is the first thing. Every single call is like, get you into that receptive state. So you go from that high beta functioning to like, oh, wait a minute. I can feel, I can see, I can sense. You've got to let that nervous system activate because that's when the wisdom comes in. Okay. So what else did I want to say here? Um, yeah. Yeah. You are here to assist healing and awakening, and you're here to be an activator for yourself and for others. So start playing with this functionality of like, oh, wait a minute, if I could feel and sense what's actually happening and even like feel and sense beyond your body, you cannot do this if you're tense. It just, it just won't work. You've got to practice softening. And then you're like, oh, I can feel what's around me. I can feel what's about to happen. I can feel or know or hear what someone's thinking. You're going to start to let in like extrasensory perception, which is just a heightened of your existing perceptions, your existing senses, uh, where they will begin to work in a higher way. This is how we access 
true solutions, right? Versus hamster wear solution where it's temporary and we got to keep doing it again and again. This is how we access true healing. Because as soon as you come into that receptive state, you are already beginning to heal. And this is how we begin to live in oneness with the world around us. So I invite you to enjoy this, practice this. Let me know your comments of how this works for you. If you're a healer or you're in like healing arts or you're uh, some kind of a wellness practitioner, start practicing this with your patients or even with your family. Like, all right, if I'm in a soft body and I'm listening from here and I'm asking questions to let myself be shown, what happens? Because always, like I will just know, oh, how does she need to hear this? Or what is this really about? And then it's like, boom, you'll either see it, hear it, feel it, or know it and be shown because your nervous system, your world is constantly communicating with you. Are you listening? And are you tuning into the information you actually want? Okay. So you are a receptor and you're a transmitter. Ask the questions be receptive to the guidance, and we are all moving into a more enlightened, peaceful society. So you are a powerful creator. Visit drkimd.com to get the Mind Body Toolkit to start the Instant Elevation Program to begin your healing journey and activate your true potential. So much love to you. Thank you for being here for Mind Body TV. We're here every week at 11 a.m. Mountain Time broadcasting live on a different topic. And we have an amazing community, the Mind Body community over on Facebook, if you would like to join us there to assist with your own awakening. All right. Lots of love. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Body TV. I would love to hear from you. Post a comment with any question, insight, aha, or just to say hello. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned for weekly episodes. I'll see you next week.